how to fix issue unable to find the country name under territory list while creating a legal entity so I'm gonna first show you this particular issue in Oracle applications and then I will take you through the resolution steps in fact um, I have also provided the resolution on the PPT itself so first let's go through that then we'll go into Oracle applications to complete this particular setup so basically while you're defining the legal entity and there is a field called as territory and when you click on that particular field let's say for a country Kenya and you don't find it under the list of values and then you kind of stuck you can't go ahead and define the legal entity so for that basically the investigation I've done is I found that even though the territory or the country name is defined in the Oracle applications instance by default it's not appearing there on the list the reason being every territory must have a identifying jurisdiction attached to that and only then it will appear in the list of values in the territory while defining the legal entity and this is exactly what I have done it over written it over here and to resolve it you got to have the jurisdiction in place for that particular territory so in this example I'm talking about Kenya I couldn't find a territory for Kenya under the list of values and we got to define the jurisdiction for Kenya first and then we've got to make sure that particular jurisdiction has got the identifying setup as checked sort of a checkbox it is and then we'll come back to legal entity creation form and to see that Kenya is appearing after the jurisdiction is defined so let's go into Oracle applications so the step number one is you've got to have this responsibility legal entity configurator in place if you don't have it in your present user then make sure you attach it by going to systems administrator responsibility so and then you let me show you go to systems administrator and then you search for your user so go to security user define and then search for that particular user let's say operations okay and then you click on this plus icon to create a new record and here you look for legal entity administrator or legal entity manager any one of this will do so you click on this one and then hit the save button there are few more functions in legal entity manager so you may want to add that one as well okay then you save it so by this your present user will have the legal entity administrator responsibility once you have that then you switch that responsibility go to legal entity configurator it's going to open a HTML based UI form you see over here and then you navigate to you see this is called as legal entity configurator workbench okay and here what you are seeing is a dashboard on the right hand side you will see the legal entities that's been recently defined and the associated registrations for those legal entities then what you have to do is in order to define the jurisdiction you've got to first go to the setup and then here you've got to define the jurisdiction but before we proceed ahead to define the jurisdiction I'm going to show you the issue that we are facing so the issue that I'm facing is while defining a legal entity so go to legal entities tab and here you click on create legal entity to create a new legal entity so while I'm creating a new legal entity for a country called as Kenya I'm unable to see Kenya under the territory list the first field over here is territory so I'm going to clear this off and then I'm going to type say Kenya and hit tab you see that in this particular 
search and select territory Kenya is not appearing if I simply type say K and then percentage and hit the go button it's going to show me all the territories starting with K so presently only one territory is there which is Korea Republic of and Kenya is not shown so if I have done an investigation and I found that in order for a territory to be appearing over here the territory or the country must link to jurisdiction and that particular jurisdiction must be identifying in nature and once you define a jurisdiction attached to a particular country then you can see that in the territory list of values so I'm going to cancel that and I'm going to cancel this create legal entity form as well I'm going to come out and then I'm going to go to setup to define the new jurisdiction and here I'm going to start by you see can you see this place the upper part is for searching the existing jurisdiction and the latter part here you've got create jurisdiction but you've got to choose a legislative category there are a number of categories over here such as commercial law company law federal tax so whichever holds good for you you choose so I'm going to leave the default as income tax and hit the go button so here is the form for defining the jurisdiction first you've got to choose the territory most of the time the territory is nothing but the uh, country name which is defined by default while you're installing Oracle applications so you don't have to really define a territory in this list of values for Kenya so if I choose here and look for Kenya I will be able to find that country name you see Kenya the country type is country which is there so I'm gonna quick select it and then you can give a name over here so I'm gonna give the name as Kenya as well and then make sure on the right hand side you see this field called as identifying make sure it is checked as yes if you don't check it as yes you will not be able to see this Kenya territory in the territory list of values while you are defining the legal entity so make sure this LOV is set to yes against identifying field and then here you can give the effectivity so give something so I'm gonna change it to say something you know I'm gonna give some value say 1950 something like this and leave the other one blank the effectivity 2 and then you've got the legal entity registration code so by default Oracle applications will have legal entity registration code for certain countries already defined um, basically like in New Zealand you've got a tax identification number in uh, in Australia you've got the same thing um, like your GST in India you've got TIN so for a number of countries it's already defined but for Kenya it's not defined so one way is you define or you create a registration code specifically for Kenya alternatively you scroll down and choose a generic field for registration code so can you see that registration number no validation so you choose this one so it will not have any validation and then you choose this display on create yes it's by default automatically set to yes and then you leave the remaining field as it is you also have establishment registration code if you feel like you can choose this one as well or alternatively you can choose registration number as no validation if at all you don't find it for Kenya or for your specific country that you're creating this jurisdiction for and once you're done you hit the apply button to save this jurisdiction now in a separate video I'm gonna show you how you can create and attach a legal entity registration code in this particular list of values for your own country so follow my course if you wish to see that and I'm gonna show you separately in the, within which I'm gonna tell you the setup steps 
and it also involves certain steps from the server side basically after you're done with that you've got to bounce the apache from the oracle application server so all that will be shown in the separate video but as far as jurisdiction is concerned once you're done with these steps you hit the apply button to okay so here you've got to enter a value and hit the apply and you see confirmation you have successfully created a new jurisdiction kenya okay once you're done with that i'm going to go back to the legal entities creation form and to see whether i am able to see kenya in the territory list so i'm going to clear this off okay and i'm going to go to the list of values here i'm going to type k once more say k percentage and hit the go button and this time as you could see kenya is appearing i'm going to choose kenya and continue with the rest of the setup steps for creating the legal entity.